Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly. A very happy, lovely day out there to everybody watching. Today, I want to give you final thoughts on um, the PYT Beauty stuff. I did a full face of PYT Beauty and I thought I'd do a quick dedicated video in case you were wondering how everything's going. If you are new here, I want to quickly say hi, hello, how are you? I am so absolutely happy that you stopped in and uh, I heard my final thoughts on all of these goodies, but don't forget to subscribe, ring your bell, like, subscribe. I said that, uh, share with your friends. So I can make more friends here on the internet. Anyways, so I've been trying this stuff for the better part of the month, uh, a couple of days left, but I have solid thoughts and I wanna share with you some some goods, some duds, some favorites. I don't know if they're my favorites. Anyways, I have, I have some thoughts. So I do wanna start with saying I am 38 years old. I do have dry to somewhat normal skin. Um, I have, fine lines right here, especially. I have them on my foreheads. My I have my foreheads, I have more than one forehead. No, I don't, I don't have more than one forehead. I have one forehead. <laughs> here we are. Um, but anyways, so I do have fine lines, um, texture and all that other good stuff. Usually I don't wear um, foundation, so I just been rolling with concealer. But anyways, let's start with the sticks that I did use. Um, also, I'll have the, it's like a first impression video. I'll have that in the description box. Anyways, I do have the all or all plus nothing concealer in medium peach right here. Um, I didn't have high hopes, but I, I had hopes. Um, the color match is really, really great. I love the color. I do like the way it wears underneath my eyeshadow um, as an eyeshadow base more than I like it as a concealer. I have, I wear contacts um, and I also have, you know, texture right there and it's dry. So I did notice, especially like just the fingertip, but underneath like right here, it, it didn't, it, it did separate a little bit. It looked a little ick. Um, it did though set elsewhere, like underneath over here, really, really great. Didn't settle or separate or anything like that. It was just like right here. So you almost have to like wonder if it was like a watery eye issue. I laugh really hard. I have four kids. They're really funny. Um, and I like to laugh. So I don't, I don't, I, did, I guess I didn't note that, but that's the only problem. It just lightly faded, I guess. It didn't totally wash away, but it definitely lightly faded right here. I'm also a face toucher. Maybe I touched my eye there and I'm just unaware of it, but I really, really like this as an eye base though. But for my preferences, I think it's too tuggy underneath my eye. So I would like put it on my finger and then put it on my eye really, really like this as an eyeshadow base. I really, really do. So, I mean, eyeshadow crayon base, I mean, that way, I don't know. It was really, really great. The mascara, the Primed and Ready mascara, this is a duo right here. This side right here is a uh, primer. I don't know why I like, brain, had a brain fart, man. Uh, it is clear, it's like a clear gel. And the black side of the tube I actually really like that they did that. This is the mascara. I'll show you the wand because I know that matters to a lot of people. Put the other stuff down. Oh, I'm in a silly mood. But anyways, it is a hourglass kind of thing. This formula is very, very, very sticky. Oh, it's like the, oh, it was this Urban Decay. What is Urban Decay's like super sticky one? I can't think. I don't like it because it's super sticky, but the primer on here, because I did try it without the primer. The, pr the primer is there for a reason because primes your eyelashes, it's like a conditioner, it's beautiful. And then you put this on and it just like, voom, voom, and it builds and it's beautiful and it's, it doesn't feel sticky and it also washes off, oh, amazing. If you have the primer on, if you do not have the primer on, you're gonna struggle bust and you're gonna be cussing yourself for not using the primer side. So if you do try this, use the primer. Um, it's really, really great. I do actually really, really like this. Would I buy it again? Yes, because I have a thing with like how it comes off and it comes off really, really great. This is another one. It does not transfer to my upper lid up here. I don't wear mascara on the lower lash line, so I can test, but it doesn't transfer up. And I'm not as messy as I would think. So I really, really like this. I also tried their brow pencil. This one has a spoolie on one side, which I love a spoolie, but it also has like a, like an oval, there we go oval, but it's more of a line. I really like this. At first, I didn't realize that it was like an oval like this. I was like, oh, I don't like these. <laughs> I actually really like this one. I can do the fine hairs. Like if you use the edge, 
you could do like the, the micro fine hairs and it just it's very beautiful it wore really really great the spoolie is nice and soft it's not scratchy you know sometimes you're like yeah spoolie and you're like oh ow um running through like a bush and no this is really great i'm in a weird mode <laughs> really sorry uh, i really like this i would repurchase this i really really would repurchase this I also what tried their lip gloss, their a full filled lip gloss. This is is it is a plumping one. I got mine in Influence right here. There is a micro glitters in here. I just love the pigment. Does it plump to the high heavens? Nope. My lips are still flat and I are not beautiful and they are what they are. But what this does do, it nourishes my lips. It stays nourished so so long and it does a little tingle, not like buxom tingle or grande tingle like but it does i swear it fills in my lines you know you get that age on your lips they kind of do the lines this i love this one i reached for it a ton this la this past month okay i also tried their uh, um lip duo right here this is a lipstick and a lip gloss in go getter the uh, lip gloss sign is very very pretty i didn't use this as much as i thought i was going to um, which kind of saddens me, but I will say this is the matte lip lipstick side. This lasted, oh my gosh. If you let it dry down, it definitely does stay. And the color is just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It wore for hours. It did fade um, eventually, but I mean, I had a salad and it stayed. It just like very, you know, like on the very, very inner of your bottom lip, it does kind of fade a little bit, but this is beautiful. This is beautiful. When I wore it, I really, really liked it. And I'm really, really happy. I might get more. So I did get full face of powders here. The eyeshadow palette I did get. I got the cool one. I think there's just, it's just cool or warm. They're both day to night um, right here. You do get a mirror, which is really great. And then the plastic piece does have like the names where to put them in case you're a newbie. Um, that is really, really cool. I love this palette. <laughs> it's very, very subtle beautiful every time I wore this on my eyes I was just I loved it I loved it I loved it I did get this on a sale I don't know that I would spend $30 on this I think it's $30 I don't know what I spent maybe it was $20 when I spent it I don't know I like this I I can see myself reaching especially like all of these shades down here they're just they are beautiful they wear beautiful they don't need any kind of like medium underneath it that you don't need to wet your brush. What you see is what you get, whether it's you use your fingers or whether you use it like a dry brush. It's just, this is beautiful. I really like it. I may pick up the other one when it goes on sale because the brand does go on sale um, periodically, but this is also a really great highlighter. Um, just saying. The uh, bronzer, this is the only shade of bronzer they do have. This is a duo. There is a matte and there is a shimmer. I was so excited to get this. This is it separate. Um, oh, we do have that. It is very, very neutral. You can, I just swirled it together because I like luminous bronzer. I did not like this bronzer. I liked it initially because I was like, yeah, it's, it's neutral, but it's like a little bit of luminous and it was really great like an hour later, I didn't like it. The more I use this, the more I realize I don't like it. I can't get it to stay, especially in my hairline. I'm a hair toucher, my hair is thinning, so I really, really blonde, bronze into my hairline quite a bit just to kind of hide it a little bit. Um, this came out of my hairline. I don't like that there's not like more shades. I'm not tan, I mean I tan, but I sell like self tan, but like I'm not tan. Um, and this barely shows up on me. I really have to dig in there and build it up, but I can't get a darker shade. But even if there were darker shades, I wouldn't get it because I don't like the formula, <laughs> which is so weird because these two are amazing. I did get the blush in Head Rush right here. This is beautiful. You do get a mirror and this is beautiful. There's a little bit of shimmer in here. When I wore this, I didn't have to wear a highlighter because it was beautiful. It just like mm, kissed my cheeks with sunshine and kisses and it was just lovely. I loved, love, love this. It stayed. It was gorgeous. The highlighter, same thing. I have that backstage pass right here. It's like the same thing everybody has over and over again, but I was really curious into the brand and I wanted to try it. So it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You can, I actually don't have, I actually don't have a highlighter on it. So I can put this on right now. 
but it's just like, oh my God, I went in there kind of like a crazy person. But this is so pretty. It's so pretty. Yes, this is very blinding um, that I just did to my face. But typically, I could get this to where it was very, very natural on the face. And it's just, it doesn't cling to my texture. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love these. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Like these, I can see where the formula is similar because it's just kissed. Beautiful. This is crap. <laughs> usually don't like to be negative like that, but oh my God, you guys, it's so bad. <laughs> so the products, I think you can absolutely skip over. Don't, don't even, don't <laughs> do other bronzers. These three right here, I think you could get away with skipping on, though they were nice. That was the Lip Duo, which is okay. The mascara is okay. I mean, it's nothing like revolutionary. The price is okay. If you can catch it on sale, even butter, it's a, it's a good mascara, but is it great? I don't have it on today. So I guess it's not great. It's good mascara, I'll use it. Um, and then the concealer was almost a total miss for me, but it's a really great eyeshadow base. So I am putting it into, you could skip it over. The products I think that are standouts, the blush and highlighter, this palette right here, I think that's fantastic palette. They have a, a warm one and a cool one. I do have the cool one. And I really, really like their eyebrow pencil. I don't have it on today. I really, really like the eyebrow pencil. And you guys, this lip gloss is amazing. I'm a lip gloss fanatic. I have lip glosses all over the house. I love this lip gloss. I will repurchase this. I will repurchase this shade. I want other shades. I like this lip gloss. So maybe it's the lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> the lip gloss and my happy cheeks, but I mean you can't go wrong with this palette. This palette is good So these five things I think are really really worth checking out if you, you, you were curious what I thought of So anyways, those are my thoughts on a full face of from what I did try from the PYT beauty video Let me know down in the comments. Did you try anything? Are you interested in the brand? I mean, it's not a new brand It was just something I kind of wanted to try and now I know and my daughter is really excited because she's getting a bronzer I don't like it that much. I'm getting rid of it <laughs> Usually I try to get things to fail, but this one failed on its own. <laughs> it was really easy. I can't get it to work. But anyways, I'm gonna take my happy cheeks and we're gonna go downstairs and kind of play because it's Friday and I'm super excited. But anyways, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. I share with your friends so I can make more friends here on the internet. And I do absolutely greatly appreciate anybody that's still watching me ramble on about some makeup. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.